since you brought up Stanley Kubrick, David uh, Hollander just told me a story about you and Stanley Kubrick. Can you tell the story about when you met Stanley Kubrick? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I met yeah, I met Stan. I was in London, and um, and um, at EMI Elstree, and and, and I heard heard that uh, Stanley was mixing a film, um, and and the uh, and then the dubbing stage, and and so I I, I walked in and looked on the screen and it was The Shining. And, um, and um, a couple of guys escorted me out early, early, early time, <laughs> way fast. And then, and then I said, you know, I, you know, if you could uh, you know, tell Mr. Kubrick that it's you know, Toby Hooper, I, I, I had no idea if he knew who the hell I was. Uh, but he, um, he, he rushed out and embraced me. Wow. And, and and he had bought a thirty a thirty five millimeter print of chainsaw, and, and and so had Ridley Scott and a lot of directors that uh, that, that were making horror films. Uh, the 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 interesting part of the story though is that <laughs> The Shining had come out and played out two years prior to that <laughs> moment, and and Stanley was still mixing the film. <laughs> God was going to get it right, <laughs> and, and he was way cool. A lot, a lot, a lot like uh, uh, in, in Lolita, Peter Sellers was doing a character, uh, uh, the, the the character that comes in on James Mason um, on, on the the veranda of the hotel late at night, and and he says uh, Peter Sellers says he's a cop. And with the cops convention, and that, 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 that and that had this kind of started that, that, that uh, my my good good friend George Swine, the night man can help you, and this that beautiful, lovely little girl. Uh, but but he was imitating Stanley. And, wow. and it's kind of, kind of like you know, very interesting dude. Very interesting man.